Hello and uh, welcome back. Yeah, it was uh, this peat fired engine. Um, so uh, let's head out and uh, check. Arr, let's check our our peat, our bog earth, and here we go. It's matured. Well, at least most of it is. Uh, so let's. Uh, Dig this up, and we should get some. Uh, there we go, peat. Yeah, <laughs> our peat. So uh, we've got something now uh, we uh, to f to fire up the engine with. Uh, and again, it's and again the bug earth. How was it? Some water uh, uh, and some sand and some dirt. So uh, perhaps we should make uh, dirt, dirt, dirt. Yeah, that's dirt. Uh, and it's of course it's getting night time already. So that's just dandy. But I did uh, went down and tried to gather a bit more resources, uh, which we can see after we've just had ourselves a little nap. And uh, where did I put it? Oh, that's all the wheat. Yeah, that's all the wheat. Uh, got some silver ingots. What was it that we were missing the last time? Uh, we have some gold. We have a bit of one iron. Um, I think it was the gold, wasn't it? Perhaps it wasn't. Was it? I can't remember. It's been a while. Anyways, we've got a peat. So, uh, in fact, we can fire up our pulverizer now. And I don't think there's any reason to have a gold ingot in there. What we do need is some iron ore. we got some iron ore here. So that's perfect. So uh, we can put in our iron ore here, but first we need to fire up this uh, this uh, peat-fired engine, and we need uh, the peat in here, which should be okay. And uh, we've turned the the engine off. Now, uh, sometimes, not always, but sometimes the peat-fired engine will produce uh, ash when burned, uh, when it burns, and uh, ash we can use. If we just press U here uh, to make a bituminous peat, something like that, or a compost, and uh, we can use it again to make fertilizer. So, um, and we might be, uh, we might have use for the fertilizer. Uh, so uh, that's good. Um, there's other ways to make fertilizer uh, with the appetite, uh, but the ass, uh, at least that gives us something to do with the ass. So uh, if we fire this up now, it will start working. And we, and we, as we can see, uh, it produces some megajoule, it stores a bit, but all what it stores is getting put into uh, this uh, the energy of the pulverizer, it's the internal energy, uh, internal not, uh, energy uh, of uh, the pulverizer, kind of like its own little battery uh, we have here. And it will use that. Uh, so uh, we can uh, charge it up and uh, and uh, and it's ready to go. It should actually... Now, because it isn't uh, at the top here, it won't uh, use as much power. As we can see, it only uses one uh, Minecraft Joule per tick. And it's able to actually use up to four Minecraft Joules per tick. But because we haven't uh, stored that much energy, it, uh, it won't use so much power. Now, if we have stored up to the full energy, uh, it would have used all the power. And as we can see, the iron ore produces iron dust, so for one iron ore we get two iron dust. And there is a chance, uh, I'm not sure what it is when it's iron, but there is a chance for a byproduct down here. <clears throat> Again, uh, at the moment uh, we have set the redstone control and uh, it means that uh, 
the control that is that the polarizer is on, enabled, it is enabled, it's on, when our signal is low. And since we don't have any signal uh, on the polarizer, it will be low, so it, the polarizer will always be on. And uh, that's what we want right now, at least. And um, as you can see, this one is uh, chugging along nicely. Uh, question is whether or not we are going to run out of, of peat, actually. But uh, what we can do is... Actually, we should be making... What we want now is we want a powered furnace uh, over here. Now, it won't be getting any energy, as we can see. Uh, we need to take uh, another engine and uh, connect it uh, so to to our to our engines uh, and um, we will get to that but let's first make the powered furnace so if we look inside uh, oh, look in the items here let's see what do we have powered furnace we have it over here and it, this was this redstone reception coil and uh, with a gold link and then two redstone so let's make that uh, a gold ingot and a couple of breadstone. So uh, first things first, and we better we better uh, take it slow this time. Uh, well, it's <laughs> when it, when when it's the powered furnace and stuff like that, it it, it shouldn't matter. But it, it was on the engine. Uh, <laughs> we have the cover ingots. Uh, we only have one cover ingot. Uh, we need some more cover. Did we actually? We have got a bit of cover there. Um yeah, we don't have any more copper ingots, no. Arrgh. It takes two for that. Can we just crush this a bit? Get some flour and let's get some copper ingots. So we could, uh, so we can make uh, our machine and the machine frame. What was the machine frame? Machine frame again. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. I'm getting old. Oh, we can just make this. Oh, we got some flour in there. Ah, uh, we don't. Do we need? Yeah, I know. Uh, one flour makes a bread. So we could make some bread. Got a whole stack of coal. Now I want again. I want uh, to be fair. I really want this to be charcoal from the trees. But uh, for now, uh, I'll just I'll settle for this. And it keeps chugging along over here. And we get our covering it. We can just make bread with the last coal or something yeah why not and the next covering it and let's get some bread going right and uh, the mesh machine frame yeah iron ingots four iron ingots four glass and a gold bar now of course we need some more iron ingots so we're gonna get them from over there Gonna take this. Oh, it's nickel dust. Yeah, there we go. It's nickel. So we could probably make this into some iron ingots. Now, do we have some glass already? Yeah, I've got three glass. How much much did I need for the machine frame? I need four glass. Of course, I need four glass. Let's take this sand and cook it while we add it. No glass in here, no. And we ran out of coal. Anyways, come on, let's get some glass. And where did I put all the iron dust? There we are. Glass, thank you. Of course. Uh, what? It's like this, yes, no. Yeah, then the iron ingots and the gold ingots in the middle. And now, of course, let's see, let's see. So we need that one there and there. They, oh, 
there, and there, and then we need the last bit of iron ingot. We should have this one there. Yeah, one machine frame. And a redstone reception coil, redstone reception coil, yeah. And uh, cover, bricks, and redstone. So, uh, cover. Bricks. 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 What? Is that like the bricks from man? <laughs> we need clay, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's those bricks. Uh, that's that's the thing when you play with the texture packs like this. You know, you know, you're gonna get confused sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we need clay. We got any clay anywhere? No, no, no clay. Oh my God! Ah, okay. Well, we can go on a little bit of an expedition, I suppose. Now it's still going over here quite nicely. Um. Yeah. Okay, ran out of fuel for the last bit there. That's that's okay. That's okay. So let's get some clay. It seems. Uh, and of course, I am notoriously bad at spotting clay, but perhaps because we are on. This texture pack, it will be easier. What do we have here? Thank you. And it's getting night time, so before we head out for clay, perhaps we should take a nap. A little bit of a nap. Yeah, I harvested a bit of the of the wheat. Yeah. Hello. Now um, and I also want to shut down the engine. Uh, actually, uh, if it's done uh, polarizing as it is now, I mean, this, it's okay. It can charge up from the last bit here. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think we just wasted a peat, uh, but oh well. We'll live. Uh, I really don't like those peat engines that much, so. I think we'll be okay. And yeah, so we need to find some clay, and it's and it's always down in the water. And now, of course, I have no idea what it looks like in this texture pack, so I might just be running around uh, like a blind man. Is that what's that? That like one piece of clay. What? Okay, uh, that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> that is not going to be enough, and uh, I'm probably missing out on um, a lot of clay around here. Is it that cold? Isn't that something? Okay, that beehive there. I think that's for winter setting. Also we actually could use a bit of sand I suppose, so it wouldn't matter if we duck a bit of sand. Um, but I would like to find a bit more clay. Clay. Is that clay over here? That's what I want. That's what we want. That's what we want. Let's get some air. What's up with that? 
Stone. Ah, I'm drowning. Oh, or something. Help, help. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, nice waterfall. Hmm. Now, a bit of sand. For now, that'll do. And the sheep. Bah, bah. Uh, oh, come on. Steve, show me the sheep. Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Sheep. So now let's head back home and uh, and get that uh, powered uh, furnace up and running. Of course, uh, the thing is, you could go right away. And uh, it could be a good idea to go right away to the induction uh, smelter. We got it here. Again, the machine frame bucket. Need these Invar ingots and the redstone reception call again. We know how to make that. And the Invar ingots is made from... Uh... Yeah, that's not how I'm making. Uh... Inla blend. Okay, I'm um, there. We go. Uh, Inla dust. Yeah, that's from smelting. That's again Inla blend. Inla ringer. Lots of stuff. Ferrous ingot, and uh, that sounds a bit more like the iron and the ferrous. Ferrous. Yeah, what do we have? Anything special? Oh well. Uh, we'll get to that. We will get to that. Anyways, um. Yeah, induction smelter. <laughs> uh, nickel and iron. Uh, uh, yeah. We can blend some of this and get the inner ring and make an induction smelter. I'll uh, I'll show it I'll show it later, but uh, because it's actually it's a bit more advanced than what we are going to set up. But it, it there is an idea that actually you could you could uh, skip the step in order to do it. So, uh, but we will not do that uh, at this time. What we do want to do is make a bit more coal. Um, we should have some insects up there. Yeah, and I don't want to do that. I want to make some bricks. I want to make some bricks. Brick it. Brick it. Hmm. Tin dust. Actually, what did we? What was it? It was nickel dust. Yeah. So we couldn't theory use that, or what? Like a nickel ingot. Ingot. Yeah. 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 Ah, uh, and some sand. We get some slag. Polarized iron. Nickel dust. Invar dust. There we go. So we got some uh, some polarized iron. Some iron dust and some nickel dust, and we can make this uh, inwa dust. So, um, yeah, we could go up to the induction smelter pretty soon. Right, let's get some of these out here. Uh, actually, I probably I need eight, right? And I need to make room for s something. I need to make a bit. The room. No. Do I have? Yeah. A little bit of room. Ah, there we go. Uh, come on. Come on. How hard could it be? Now, let's see. We did have one of these. Yeah. 
one brick and another one's coming up. Should be ready now. Yeah, let's just have this. And there we go. Oh, I want that. Give it to me. Give it to me. And the other brick. Yes, powered furnace. Finally. So let's put this bad boy down here. There we go. Our pyro powered furnace. And again, as we said, the input side uh, with the colors uh, matching uh, and the output side. So uh, as we can see right here, we've got uh, the input sides on uh, the... We don't need one there. We don't need the bottom. That's the back. Uh, and this is the top. We don't need one there at the moment. So the input side over here, which is the blue one. So I want this to be the input because we put the output out here, which would mean, and as we can see, it already gone uh, and 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 done it. It put it it took the output all our uh, the output here, of course, our our dust, and automatically transferred it into uh, the powered furnace and uh, and it's ready to. Uh, to go, why it did do that with the nickel dust? I don't, I don't know. But that, never mind that. We can, uh, we can change, uh, we can change that configuration around. So you won't take the output here, and uh, and the nickel dust will will be there, so we don't get into that situation at least. Now, and as we can see, we uh, we need to power this uh, also. Of course, we knew that already. Now, my... Oh, I did say I wanted to make that engine, so perhaps I should make that engine. Perhaps I should make that engine. That steam engine. Uh, I, I'm, I really don't like that steam engine, but... Uh, why not? Do we have enough cover to do it? If I took all this cover all and made it in here, cover all. How much cover do I have over here? I don't have anything, right? I have like one. Yeah. I don't want to do that right now. So, um, so we'll set up, uh, we'll set up, and yeah, you can see the S uh, coming out of here. So we'll set up um, the power system next time, so we can uh, we don't need uh, several engines uh, for each stuff. So we need some uh, some wiring now. Normally, I would go with the energy conduits, but uh, I think they're a little bit, uh, or they are. I mean, the electrum and the hardened glass, uh, that's the in the induction smelter with obsidian, polarized obsidian and such. And uh, the electrum, uh, again, is... Um, do we have one? Yeah, it's silver and gold. Um, usually I do this with dust. Do we have any dust? Uh, electrum blend. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I won't show the receipt for electron blend, but yeah, um, it's a, it's a bit expensive, and we need uh, a magma crucible in order to fill it up, uh, or liquid transposer with the molten redstone. So we need the uh, to melt redstone also. So it's a, it's a bit more uh, complicated process in doing the uh, to do these. Oops. Uh, so we will. Most likely, just start out by using some uh, golden uh, conductive pipes. Uh, yeah, these golden conductive pipes. I don't need them. So we need a golden transport pipes and some redstone, and that's just glass and a gold ingot. So uh, to start out with, I think we're gonna do those. Uh, make a little bit of an engine room, uh, perhaps out back, uh, and have the golden conductive pipes uh, come in here and uh, have power uh, for the system uh, that way. 
but uh, eventually I will set it up using the energy conduits and um, because those don't explode uh, in the same way as the golden conductive pipes do so I will be using the energy conduits and use the redstone energy cells but as you can see these are quite expensive for now so until we get a bit or a lot more resources uh, we will be using uh, We'll be using this system to start out with. Um, so that's uh, that's the plan. Uh, that's the plan. So get some a bit more of all this stuff and uh, and uh, set up uh, the the engine room uh, so we can uh, have a bit more power to to play with. So uh, until next time. Good night and take care.